Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a recipe that I've learned when I was growing up watching my mother cook this. Today we're going to make carne guisada. This is one of my personal favorites. I love carne guisada whether it's in tacos or served as a dinner with rice and beans. Either way I'm sure you will enjoy it. Stick around and I'll show you how I make this. To make this beautiful and delicious carne guisada, we're gonna be using a beef chuck roast. Now I've taken this one, it's about two and a half pounds, anywhere between two and three pounds will be great for this recipe. I've diced it up and I'm also gonna use salt, black pepper, diced onion and bell pepper, minced garlic, flour, tomato sauce, better than bouillon roast beef base, and we're also gonna be using cumin. Let's start out by taking our beef on over to our stove. Let's take our oil and drop it in the pan. Give it a good squirrel to make sure that it's evenly coated. I have the skillet here on a medium heat and we're gonna drop in our beef. It should sizzle. We're gonna add in some salt and some pepper and we're gonna give this a good stir make sure all the seasonings are covering all of that beef gonna cover this and we're gonna let it cook for 15 minutes we do want to check it occasionally to make sure it's not sticking um, I'm checking it here to see how much water has come out of our beef. There, there'll be a lot of juice that will come out of this beef. Um, the goal here is to get most of this water down here to evaporate. We want it to kind of hear it to start frying, sizzling. Um, and that's the overall goal. So let's do this for 15 minutes. Okay, it has been about 15 minutes now, and you can see here that a lot of that water has started to evaporate. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and take the lid off. And as I move this around, the liquid is evaporating even faster now that the lid is off. So, so now we're gonna add in our diced onion and our diced bell pepper. We're also gonna throw in the minced garlic. Okay, so at this point we're gonna add in the beef bouillon. That's about half a tablespoon of beef bouillon. Mix it in, coat all of the beef with that, with that beef bouillon. That's pretty, um, it's got a lot of flavor. I saw that one time and I, and I thought I wanted to try it and I really, I really enjoyed it. Now you can also use, um, the beef bouillon powder, the Nor beef bouillon powder, uh, but I would suggest to add that once you add the water in. We're going to go ahead and sprinkle in our flour. This is just regular all-purpose flour. Give it a good mix. and coat all that beef with the flour. It's gonna look mushy and it's gonna look funny, but it works. We're gonna add in our tomato sauce. Give this a good stir. 
Now this is going to start wanting to stick down at the bottom. It's okay. If you have this type of skillet, this is, this is what happens. If you're using a nonstick skillet, then you're going to be okay. So let's just kind of mix this around a little bit, not for very long. I am talking about 30 seconds or so. And now I'm going to grab some hot water and we're going to pour this in. You want to be mixing it as you're pouring it in just to kind of ensure that no lumps form here. As you're mixing, make sure you scrape the bottom of the pan to pick up all those bits of flavors. If you're using a um, stainless steel pan like I am, those bits tend to kind of stick down at the bottom. And once you add some kind of liquid, you can uh, scrape it and release all those flavors back into the pan. If you're using nonstick, then just go ahead and scrape it a little bit. Um, there probably won't be too much to pick up, but still make sure everything's nicely incorporated. has come to a gentle simmer here and I'm adding in our cumin. We're also going to add a little bit of salt. You know, you might not even need the salt. Um, you can try it and see if you want to add it, but I just added a, a tiny little pinch and a tiny pinch of black pepper. Here I am trying it for salt. It was good. We're going to continue simmering this for two and a half to three hours. Um, make sure you put the lid back on. Okay, so my catequisada is there cooking on the stove. Um, it's been simmering for about an hour or so, but I just wanted to tell you this smell reminds me of when I was growing up as a little kid. My mother used to make this all the time. She would make it probably once a week for my father. And I would tell her, why, why? And she would say, porque te le gusta tu papá. My, my dad loves it, and he does. And so now, when every time I make it, I think of my family, I think of my home. And it's a very comforting smell to me. This absolutely smells delicious. Our carne guisada has been simmering away for a little over two hours and it is done check this out it is so tender it has started to fall apart so that's like okay we don't want it to fall apart now let's get this plated um, i do have a recipe for my mexican rice um, Make sure you subscribe so you'll be able to see when that comes out. Yummy. So good. The house smells wonderful. This plate looks delicious. I'm ready to eat. Let's see how I did here. All right, I'm so excited to try this. It came out pretty good. So, well, at least I think it looks pretty good. Let's try it. Mmm. It's so tender. This is <clears throat> definitely a great recipe. I think you guys will enjoy it. It's delicious. Also, don't forget to check out my rice video. I made a video on how to make this rice that you see right here too. Thank you guys so much for watching.